More breaking news is now coming in. We're learning that the Coromandel Express is going to resume from tomorrow. It starts at 3.20 p.m. from Howrah. So now we know that all uh, lines have been restored. The train movement was restored uh, just a few days after the accident took place. Now we're given to understand that Coromandel Express, which was one of the three trains that was involved in this horrific crash on Friday night, that is also going to be resuming its operations beginning tomorrow. It leaves from Howrah at 3.20 p.m. in the afternoon. Komalika, my colleague, uh, getting us more details. Yes, Komalika. Yes, the government will express what we are getting in, what we came to know from the railway PRO also, that from tomorrow, the normal services will start on. So 3.20, it will start on the uh, the Coromandel Express. I think it's going to start from Shalimar, uh, because it was a Shalimar Coromandel Express. So this is going to start from the correction of what we are running. It's like Shalimar Coromandel Express. So it's going to start from Shalimar at around 3.20. Uh, tomorrow, and uh, obviously it's, it's almost four to five days again, and the same path, and the Coromandel, things are coming back to normalcy, and tomorrow again Coromandel will start from Shalimar. Right, Komalika, thank you so much for getting us the latest on that. The probe continues as far as the train crash goes, but the politics is also escalating. We had the West Bengal Chief Minister, Mamta Banerjee, who is in Odisha today. She was in Bhuvaneshwar. She was going to be in Katak as well to meet with the survivors of this horrific train crash. Meanwhile, opposition parties are upping the ante against Railways Minister Ashwini Vaishnav. The resignation demand continues to echo. Congress has been continuously lashing out at the centre. They're raking up the lack of safety systems, a lack of accountability and alleged misuse of central agencies. Amid the criticism for Railway Minister, JDS Chief and former Prime Minister H.D. Deve Gowda has come out in support of him and the BJP. He says that Ashwini Vaishnav is doing the best he can and call for resignation while the inquiry is still underway is unwise. normalization operation साथ ही साथ हम लोगों का पूरा फोकस आज दिन भर रहा किस तरह से पैसेंजर्स के परिवारों तक पहुंचकर बंगाल में झारखंड में बिहार में जहां जहां भी हमारे पास सूचना है वहां पे रेलवे के कर्मचारी कोशिश कर रहे हैं परिवार जनों के साथ संपर्क करने की और मैं सभी देश भर में परिवार जनों को निवेदन भी करूंगा कि आपके जो भी आपको सुविधा चाहिए, जो भी आपको फैसिलिटी चाहिए, आप सारे कांटेक्ट नंबर्स दिए जा चुके हैं, कांटेक्ट करें और जल्दी से जल्दी इस आगे बढ़ें। Thanks to all of you for your kind cooperation and action. After the incident, the Odisha government and the Bengal government. They work totally together and they are also from their side, they are giving free and free treatment and free uh, everything. And from our side also, we have chief of camps here also. Maleshwar also we have the camp. And uh, we have the camps in uh, this border uh, of the Uriya, Urisha also. So we are helping them also. You know, we have already sent under more than 100 ambulances. The politics continues. We'll keep a track of that and the investigation as far as the Urisha train crash goes. But for now, a quick break. Yeah, was there in the signaling? Uh, because you know, uh, uh, a boom is also connected to a signal system. So boom is basically, uh, you know, uh, uh, a level crossing. You can consider a lev uh, boom is basically a barrier uh, uh, that is generally used at level crossing. And th this uh, boom was a uh, boom is uh, generally connected to signaling system. So it is possible that you know uh, some sort of interference was done uh, in order to replace the boom. And in that process, something else happened and, uh, you know, uh, the point was set to the another direction. And in fact, uh, the uh, panel was not showing any, any, any uh, you know, error. Now, the point and, and the argument is that if it has happened, whether or not it was intentional, 
and this is the reason why everyone is stressing on CBI investigation now because CBI will uh, let us know as to if there was some sort of conspiracy behind this, if it was some sort of intention, some sort of a specific mindset, or if it was a mistake.